Hi everyone, I'm back with another video showing you what's um, going out in the post today. This is, these are all items that sold from Friday lunchtime to this morning, which is Tuesday. It's just over um, 800 pounds, which is a little bit lower than the last few weeks that we've had weekend sales. Uh, it's been sort of close to, well, over a thousand every time. So it's been quieter. Uh, but then it's payday coming up, so hopefully things will pick up. Now, I'm a bit annoyed because this is the second time I've done this video. It didn't record, and it was a really good one. So, a bit frustrated with that. I was making really good time with my jobs that I've got to do today, and now <laughs> I'm, um, yeah, a little bit behind. So, I am Faye, and my husband is Simon, and together we're FNS resellers. You can find us as FNS resellers over on Instagram as well. We're full-time resellers. We source on, well, we source from charity shops and auctions, the odd car boot sale. We do flips from eBay to eBay, Amazon to Amazon, Amazon to eBay, eBay to Amazon. <laughs> we pick things up in retail stores as well. The occasional Facebook marketplace pick up, but we're mainly all about the charity shops and the auctions. And these next few items well quite a few items are what's going out in the post today simon will pack them as soon as i've finished the video and because it's the second video i've done and it didn't record we're just going to be a bit later and get into the post office but we still should make it in time um, as usual i will start with the breaker balls and um, there's a few of them and the first one i'm going to show you is this disney mug donald duck we had two of these uh, one sold really quickly this one was hanging around for a bit um but here we go it sold for th uh, no we bought it for 3.99 in december and we sold it for 15 pound 38 that, that would have been a best offer another item that sold this weekend is this cherished teddy now this one for some reason didn't get listed uh, it's been sitting around for ages and as part of our aim to get everything listed by the 12th of April, I listed this one over the weekend. It was in a big job lot of cherished teddies that I picked up in May. You've seen in previous videos that I wasn't very happy with the quality of the items. It was an eBay local pickup um, because of social distancing and it was sort of early days then. Um, I didn't hang around to look at what I bought. They were all individually wrapped. So when I got home, tried started to list them, I noticed that a lot of them were damaged. I didn't ask my money back, but I did message the seller to say how disappointed I was. Um, now this was 40p cost price. It's a cherished teddy, let's celebrate special edition, an ESCO with a code and a date of 2002. So the name of the item the brand and the code and the date are all on the base. So you just take the information off there and put it in the title because people who collect them are interested in that. Um, and that sold for £5.43. Uh, it, we're running as 20% promotion on a lot of stock, stock that's um, older than two months. We decided that this weekend when we were in the hot tub because I hired a hot tub for Simon's birthday. So we spent a lot of time in it this weekend and some of it we were chatting about sort of plan to work and it's not it, that might sound silly but this isn't like a job to us this is a hobby that we do for a living so we do chat about it a lot and we were drinking cocktails in the hot tub chatting about 20 percent promotions <laughs> as you do so the, one of the reasons we want to clear a lot of stuff down is because where we store all our stock that's listed we want to paint in there and it will be a lot easier to paint when the stock's gone rather than have to move it around. And when there's breakables, you, when you're moving stuff around, you risk it breaking. So the plan is to get as much stock shifted as we can because the weather's getting nicer now. So we can um, paint, move things outside and paint them and get uh, the storage area looking good. Um, so we've got some more breakables that um, are out the door. This next one is... <laughs> This Danbury Mint Easter 1980 limited edition primrose trinket dish, um, egg shaped. It's fine bone china made in England. We couldn't find it for ages this morning. Uh, Simon was convinced that we'd uh, sold it. I thought maybe we'd donated it to a charity shop because we picked this up maybe two years ago. It was a bad buy from a charity shop. 
um, it cost £2.13 and we sold it for £8.63 and I guess because it's Easter limited edition and it's Easter coming up, I mean it's older than me, um, that's why it's sold. Another breakable is this vase, it's Dartington uh, Crystal Mill Fury, which is the sort of painted design. Mill Fury is actually glass stringers usually in paperweights. Um, they look like maybe spirals, like a stick of rock has a pattern inside. That's um, Mill Fury, I don't even know if I say it right. Um, it's a French word. Um, but this is sort of painted on to look like that. It's Dartington Crystal because it's got the sticker on it and it's made in the UK. I listed it this month. It was in a job lot of paperweights, funnily enough. When you buy job lots, sometimes you do get some random bits in there and this glass vase was one of them. Uh, it cost £2.59 and we sold it for £18.99. I went higher on it, but some had sold for a lot less, um, but it does need a clean, I did mention that. And um, yeah, that went quite quickly. I tend not to spend too much time cleaning things. If things do need a clean like vases because they've had flowers in, I always mention it. Um, we sold two paper rates to the same person this weekend. We ran a promotion or we are running a promotion of buy one, get one 25% off. Now they bought this one. It's unmarked, no brand or anything, no signature. <clears throat> it looks to me like it's a plastic flower inside, but it could be glass, I could be wrong. Um, if it's, I listed it as an art glass paperweight, blue flower, floral, oval egg, retro. Cost £2.59 and we sold it for £9.99. And they also picked, this was listed this month by the way, um, they also purchased this one which is um, three flowers, red, white and blue. It's round, it's got bubbles. Always mention if there's bubbles in a paperweight that you're listing because people do like the bubbles. Um, it's unsigned as well and it's quite small so I mentioned that. It costs £5.67 in October and we're selling it for £10.25. So together we've got 20 quid's worth of paperweight going out. Put those down there. Okay, in other videos you see me say about bundling items together. So if we, we sort of cherry pick some of the good stuff out and then we bundle the rest together. Uh, it saves donating it and it means it goes to another home. It's not getting put in the bin or anything like that. So this is a job lot of sort of drinking vessels uh, uh, pubs, I was going to say mugs, cups, flasks, um, nothing sort of china or anything like plastic bottles, sports bottles, gym bottles, that sort of thing, kids bottles. Um, there's 15 in total. This whole bundle had a cost price of £3.53. I listed it in February and I sold it for £15. Some of the items are personalised, like this one here, it says Amelia on it. I mentioned that in the listing. There is a chilli bottle in there. Chilies are really popular, uh, so hopefully that added value. I've got a really tickly throat, especially as this is the second time I'm doing this video, so I'm just constantly drinking, sorry. Um, uh, Simon has been selling a lot of breast pumps. He really got into them last year, buying them in bulk. They were arriving every week and he was shifting them really super quickly for really good money. He was left up, um, with a load of items, that sort of accessories and spares that worked out at zero cost because he'd worked out his cost price for all the other ones that had sold. So this month he put it all together, put some bundles together and listed the accessories. This one is a replacement Medela Swing Maxi Flex electric breast pump with power plug and it's working. He listed it this month and it sold for £40. It's always worth checking <clears throat> spares and leftovers because um, there's money in, like, even with like games, board games, if you've got some bits left over from a board game that had too many pieces, sometimes you can spell that, sell them as spares for people who've lost pieces from their board game. Um, another drinking vessel, we've had two of these, we had a purple one, it sold quite quickly, a very American in the size, because they're, they're a litre, and I don't think our cup holders and our cars would take this sort of thing, but in America they do, 
Um, this was listed in February. It cost £3.53. The brand is Bubba and it's a classic insulated mug. And it keeps things hot for three hours and cold for 12. Um, it sold for £17. Just a cheap toy that's going out. <clears throat> a builder garden. The box is pretty battered. But I took pictures, obviously, and declared the, the box condition. It is a used toy, so that would have been mentioned as well. It's just plastic bits of flowers that kids can stack up and make their own little flower gardens. Um, it's just a cheapy toy. Uh, it cost a couple of quid and we sold it on a 20% promotion for £6.83. <coughs> uh, Paddy Power, we've sold a lot of Paddy Power branded items. They have a, re a rewards club. We've had hats, we've had the lucky pants and we've had the socks. The Lucky Pants all sold out really quickly. I think we've got five pairs of socks left. These are the socks. Um, they cost 59p, got them in November and sold for 5.99. The bobble hats are slow sellers though. Uh, we have some playing cards. I know I had a packet of these in a video the other day. They're Grand National winners from 1968 to 2019. They all sold at different prices. They were in a job lot of um, toys and games that Simon picked up in, um, from the auction, I think, um, with a load of tarot cards, that sort of thing. Um, so obviously Cheltenham was this weekend and it's horse racing season now because uh, the Grand Nationals in April. So the this pack, well, they were all £1.45 listed this month. This pack sold for £10.99. Um, this pack sold for ten ninety nine, and this pack sold for eight pound seventy nine because it was once we'd um, implemented the twenty percent promotion. So still money even after the promotion, and we've got five packets left. And this little jug was in a box of vintage items. So I last year bought some vintage items in bulk, uh, sort of unseen, didn't know what I was getting. And when I got them home, I was like, I can't be bothered to list those. So I just put them away, they collected dust. And as part of our uh, real push to get everything listed by April the 12th, I pulled them out the weekend and listed two boxes worth. And it felt really good when I'd done it. In there was this jug, it's just a stainless steel milk jug. It's got a tag on the bottom, it's John Lewis. They're still in stock on the John Lewis website. They sell at 9 99 on there. This one's got a blemish to the side. <coughs> so I took pictures of all sides, inside and the base, declared the blemish, and I listed it at four, I think it was 7 99 uh, Yeah, it sold really quickly for 7 99 It cost me 5 39 um, as part of a job lot, but I, I, I listed it. <laughs> it was worth listing. Um, but there was things in, in the bundle that were worth a lot more money, which I'm, I can't believe I didn't list it sooner, really. It's taught me a lesson. I only pick up what I want to list. Um, this is, you can't really tell what it is. It's in a plain white box. But it's um, it came in a big job lot of tarot cards, probably in the same job lot as the Grand National cards. It's Moon Seeker of Light, Guardian Messages from the Heart, Oracle Deck, Twin Flame. It cost £2.11 in March. We've got three available. This one sold for £35. Simon would have checked that all the cards were there. Um, but that's a great flip. This one's a not so great flip. So if you've watched our videos before, or even if you're new, we're really honest. We tell you what we paid and what we sold for. Sometimes things go for less than we want, but we're not interested in holding on to stock for too long. We just want to get it gone. So if, if we don't make money on it, we don't make money on it. But we've learned a lesson not to pick it up again. This is a go-to thermal drinking cup mug. And uh, it's got a metal interior. I put that it's 230 mil. It's always useful to put the capacity of mugs and cups in your listings because people do want to know. I've had questions before saying, oh, what's the capacity? And you kind of realise when people start asking those questions, 
So that's what they really want to know. So if you put it in your listing, people are, some people won't ask questions. They'll just pass your listing by if it hasn't got the information they want. So try and cover um, all bases, put all the information, measurement sizes in, so people have what they need to know to be able to like decide to make a purchase or not. So this was listed in December. It cost us £3.76 and uh, it sold for £6. Probably should have put it in that job lot of cups and bottles and stuff. Um, another uh, Primark bra going out. Don't tend to sell Primark, but we had a lot of Primark items in underwear bundles. And I, I sort of decided that I was going to sell it because Primark has been closed and they don't do online shopping. So all the Primark underwear we've listed has sold pretty quickly. We listed this this month, it cost £1.76 and it sold for £8.99. Uh, a shoe bundle we picked up recently had a load of slippers in it. These are a pair of pavers slippers. They're brand new with tags. I wouldn't tend to pick up pavers on their own. Um, but we were in a job lot. Brand new with tags. Wasn't going to grumble. I actually got two pairs. A size 6 and a size 7. Uh, these are a size 7. And they cost uh, £2.35. Listed this month. Sold for 15 it's a great flip there. Uh, this next one is a whistles dress. Now I've had this on eBay since the summer, cross-listed to Vinted, and it sold on Vinted, so I obviously removed it from eBay straight away. And it sold on Vinted uh, for £19.99 plus post. So that's my highest Vinted sale so far. And um, I've sort of had a panic because Vinted took their app down yesterday. Um, so sort of no warning, just we we're, were opening a new app and a website and see you soon kind of thing. And it's like, great, well, fantastic. Um, luckily, uh, well, I had a sort of mild panic, put something on Instagram, where can I get the address from? I need to post the dress out. And um, I was reminded that they have a desktop site. I don't know, I just wasn't thinking rationally. Uh, so yeah, it's easy to get the address of the um, desktop site. So that's going out today, size 12. Um, this was also cost listed to Vinted, but it's sold on eBay. It's a white stuff um, dove top. It's a really nice pattern, and I can't believe it didn't sell sooner. Listed it in November. It cost £8. We put the 20% promotion on it because we want to get it gone, and it sold for £13.69, so not great. And I wouldn't pick up white stuff again. Um, no, it's not, I'm, I want to steer away from sort of generic clothes. I don't enjoy listing clothes. I only pick up sort of specialist items or like decent brands, but not sort of high street stuff anymore, I don't think. Um, a boohoo top here. Um, I said before that I've reduced all my pretty little things, shine, sheen, boohoo items down to four pounds because that's what people were offering. These were all picked up in big job lots of like clothing and um, I just wanted them gone. Now, for some reason, I forgot to or missed this one. I didn't reduce it to four pound, but someone offered four pounds, so I took it. It's just a white racer front crop vest thing. Um, listed it in October. It cost one ninety three. Like I said, took an offer of four pound. Um, these shoes are really cute. These haven't been listed long. They're uh, a pair of Converse, brand new, unworn, but they've been embroidered, so you can send off your shoes. Um, people on Etsy and Facebook um, do little businesses of um, sort of embroidering shoes or hand painting shoes and these are embroidered. These are going um, abroad via GSP. They cost me, well, cost us £7.83 and we sold them for £40. So another great fit there. Uh, in the same bundle were these Vans snake skin slip on shoes. Absolutely gutted they weren't in my size, I have to say. They're a size five and I'm a six and a half. Otherwise, I would have kept them and I'd have got Simon would have just said not another pair of shoes. Uh, they cost £7.83. Uh, we, they were part of the 20% off promotion that we started running on Sunday and they sold for £31.99. And they're not brand new. They haven't been worn outside, but they've got slight markings to the edge where they've been tried on or worn inside. Uh, this jacket's next. This, oh, these not great jackets. They were part of a job lot of clothing from the auction. We sold one last week or the week before. Got really good feedback on it, which 
I was surprised. I thought it was going to come back um, as too small. And I've seen them for sale on Groupon when I was doing my research on them. Um, it cost us £1.50 and we sold it for £8.32. Took an offer, but I'm glad to see the back of it. Don't want coats hanging around over the summer. Um, a couple of months ago, we picked up a job lot of sportswear. There's some really good items in there that I've shown you on past sales videos. There was like rugby tops and all sorts of jackets that sold for about 50, 60 quid. And there was a couple of items in there that um, weren't really worth the cost price, but um, added all together, um, it was a great bundle to pick up. Um, but the, we've got two that went out, that are going out today that um, didn't make us much money. These Under Armour off pitch jogging bottoms, size small. Uh, they cost price was 10.97, listed in February, and they sold for 20. And there was an Arsenal jumper as well somewhere. Oh, here it is. Out of the same lot, brand new tags, Arsenal hoodie. And um, this was also 10.97, I think because it's out the same one, I'm sure. Yeah, 10.97, listed last month, and uh, sold for 15. Couldn't get any more for it, it wasn't worth any more, so that's um, not a huge money maker. Never mind. Uh, I had quite a few of these baseball caps. They really don't look very comfortable. They're like a plasticky mesh. Um, they look really cheap, but they seem to be popular in sell. It's got like a picture of someone playing golf on the little tag on the front. Uh, so I don't know if it's like uh, people who play golf like wearing mesh hats um, or you're allowed to wear mesh baseball caps. I have no idea. Um, but there wasn't much money in it. Um, oh, where is it? Here we go. No, that's not it. Here we go. Edico mesh baseball cap. Um, I also put golf fishing. Um, £1.93 it cost us in December and it sold for £6.14, best offer. Nothing special at all, um, but it's going to a new home. Uh, some pants, because everyone needs pants. These are just H&M five pack of, I think they're shorts. Um, I wouldn't normally pick this sort of thing up. Here we go, H&M Divided, five pack, shorty briefs, large knickers, £1.76, listed this month, sold for £12.99. People have their favourite underwear, favourite shops or type of underwear, and if they can't get it because of lockdown, then they'll check eBay, hopefully, and I have it. So, pleased with that. Um, another, I think this is a pretty little thing, top, just a cheapy crinkle cut bikini top. Um, that cost me 193 in November. I'd reduce it to four pounds, sold for four pounds. Good. Um, had these a while. I'm surprised they didn't sell sooner. They're Puma leggings. And these were cross this to Depop as well, but they sold on eBay. Uh, had them since December. They cost four pounds and three P. And I took an offer of 13 pounds 67. They're brand new tags. Um, a couple of bras, this is a brand new lounge bra, that's the brand, it's a mesh balcony bra, it says it on the sticker on the back, 32C, hot pink, cost £1.76, listed this month and it sold for £19.99. Another bra that sold, we sold um, another one but in white of this the, the other day, it's La Agent, or Le, Le Agent by Agent Provocateur. Demi bra 36C and it's a collaboration with um, Penelope and Monica Cruz. Um, if like collaboration items often sell well, so the RRP on this is 55 pounds. I, I wasn't gonna put it up for 55. Uh, I sold it for 26, so 176 into 26. So that's great. Couple of hats. This sun hat, fedora. Federer, however you say it, sun hat. It's got like UPF 50, so it's a sun protection hat. Uh, we've got three of them, this is the first one to sell. We've had them a little while. I would have expected to have sold them quicker, but obviously less people are traveling. But now the weather's improving, hopefully they're gonna sell. 
So we listed it in November, it cost £2.23 and it sold for £10. Brand new with tags. I think it's Costco stock. I think I saw them in there the other day. Uh, so it would have been in a big bundle that we got. My throat is so tickly. Uh, another hat, this Arsenal official um, bobble hat. Cost 98p, listed this month and it sold for 14 99 Uh, I think this is the last pair of slippers we got in a big slipper bundle. These are Kirkland, so that's Costco's own brand. <clears throat> They're men's shearling clogged slippers, uh, genuine sheepskin, brand new in the box. They cost £5 and sold for £25. They take up a lot of room, so that's good. On our mission to paint our shelves and everything, clear some space. Uh, another hat that sold is this one. If I saw this in a charity shop, I wouldn't have a clue what brand it was. So I used the Google image search on the Google app on my phone and found out that the brand is, scrolling through, hold on, uh, NTS Radio Telepathy. <coughs> and it says, don't assume. <coughs> it's a denim cap in neon green embroidery. So I looked it up, found that it sold out on the NTS radio site. They were selling them for £25. So I listed mine for £25 and it sold. It cost me 98p and it's only been listed a couple of weeks. Listed this month, in fact. It's a great turnaround on that one. Another great item here. I listed these yesterday afternoon and they sold overnight. Uh, I didn't put best offer on them because whenever we list, we don't put best offer on straight away. Uh, we had messages yesterday evening uh, asking, oh, would we take £13? Would we take £12? No, sorry, not accepting offers. And um, they cost £1.93. They're step one men's trunks underwear. And uh, the pattern is Juicy Plums. It says it on the back. It's all sealed, so I couldn't take it out or anything. Uh, cost £1.93, listed yesterday, sold today for £15.99. Uh, another Primark item sold just before I did the first attempt at this video. Uh, these cost um, 59p, they're listed in this month. These are part of the 20% promotion we're running and they sold for £6.39. Just slipper socks. Uh, that's that one done. been hanging around ages and it's been driving Simon mad it's a Ravensburger thousand piece puzzle and they normally sell really quickly but it looks so hard it's vintage it's made in was it West Germany yeah West Germany in 1984 so it's old uh, it would have come in a job lot I think I don't think we picked this up in a charity shop um, it cost us Three pounds in November, it's going abroad, and we sold it for 10.99 in the end, which is a shame, because Ravensburger are collectible, and I can't believe that this one didn't sell sooner or for more. This next item I'm gonna show you is like, looks like a fail. It's not actually a fail, because it came in a job lot of items, including some life jackets. Hang on, I've got such a tickly throat life jackets um like a big i want to call it a onesie it was like a musto onesie thing but like proper fisherman trawlerman um like it was really expensive we sold it for over 200 quid um and it was a great bag to pick up and that's why i picked it up for that um musto all-in-one thing uh, and this was just in there as well it's a kids hydration backpack so they wear it on their back it's got water in it the little straw comes over their shoulder so they can drink when they're hiking or on their bike or whatever. Um, it cost us a lot of money. Um, cost us £32.90, which is also what we paid for the Musto onesie um, in December. Um, but it's, and it sold for £25.70. So we made a loss on the actual item, but the bundle itself we did really well on because the life jackets and the musto thing, they all sold along with everything else that was in there, which I can't even remember what it was. Um, 
Simon bought loads of these at the auction, shown them to you in previous videos. They've started selling now because people are like sort of planning camping trips, I guess. These are going abroad, so I'm not sure where. Um, so if the weather's better in America or wherever, um, then people are obviously planning trips. So they cost £7.39, listed in February, sold for £36. Not many things to go now. This is a great sale. Um, Simon's actually got a video coming out in the next few days about some um, like war books. And this is one of the books that was in that lot. It sold on eBay, but it was listed on Amazon because we cross list things. If you want to cross list your um, eBay, Amazon stock, then give us a shout. We can help you with that. Um, but this is Fake Detect Defector, British Military, Diver Commander, Lionel Buster Crab. And it cost, I've got it written down here, seven pounds. And we sold it for 75, so great sale there. There is money in books, not all books, so you have to do your research. Um, but yeah, great sale. Now this is like my weirdest sale. Um, I listed this over the weekend. This was also in that job lot of vintage items that um, I've been putting off for ages. It's silver plated. Um, it's a cake fork set with a cake slice and it's really heavily tarnished. And I mentioned that in the um, listing. I also got like photos of it all. It cost 97p and I sold it for 9.49, like within sort of 48 hours of listing. So that took me by surprise. <clears throat> right, big gulp of drink for this last bit. You'll see from previous videos, if you've watched them, that I've been selling um, mystery boxes so you're not actually supposed to sell mystery boxes on ebay you can't call them mystery boxes so mine are called random selection of beauty items because i've got a big uh, supermarket crate um sort of it was overflowing with beauty items that are all too good to throw out there's nothing wrong with them they're brand new and sealed but uh, i don't want to take the time to have to list everything or make up bundles and list those it's just going to take ages to photograph them so i thought right i'm going to do mystery boxes i've got three different sizes available and the six item one um was listed for five pound plus post and we reduced it by 50p sold a few of those and um, i've got them on depop as well but they've only sold on ebay i've also got a 20 item one for 14.99 and i've sold a few of those the middle one, I can't remember the details on that one, hasn't sold, but that's fine. So I've sold quite a few now, really pleased. And I had some feedback. Uh, it's my first feedback for one of these mystery boxes. I had it over the weekend and it was on a five pound one, which are now reduced to four pound 50. And the feedback was um, amazing value for money, 35 pounds worth of items for five pounds, would recommend, thank you. So I'm really pleased with that, really pleased. So um, I've got three going out today in the post, two cheapies where they get six items and the big one where they get 20 items. So they all go out in a clear bag. Uh, I put a thank you sticker on it and just like a nice little touch. So this person is getting a three in one facial treatment skincare art natural set. They are also getting some TP, extra soft TP things, a Korea Hyaluronic Acid Serum, sealed obviously, everything's sealed, um, an eyeliner pencil sealed, a little comb, and some eyelashes. Now I'd say that's all right for five pounds, well it's worth more than five or four pound fifty, definitely. And then the other cheapy one that's going out, they also get the eyelashes. They're getting Lambina Hair Growth Essential Oil and a Korea Hyaluronic Acid Serum, uh, lint free under eye gel patches for lashes, a hydrating rose mask, face mask, and a uh, milk and bamboo vinegar peeling foot mask. 
So again, worth more than £4.50 for all of that. And then lastly, the Big Daddy 20 item one. They have got this moisturiser. They've got some troll soap. Apparently it talks to you when you press down on the pump. So that's kind of cool, I suppose. Uh, they're also getting some herbal massage oil. Some original Epsom salts. A vitamin C whitening freckle cream. <clears throat> some brow styling soap. I don't know if this is a face massager or what. Um, but they're getting one of those. They're getting a lipstick pot with a little mirror in it. It's a Christmas cracker special, that one. Uh, I can never say this right. Micilla or Micilla water for your face. Some Dove deodorant. Uh, nourishing magical treatment for hair. And a MAC eyeshadow in, it's called Talent Pool. A Naobe Detox Unpolluted Oxygen Light Cream. It's got, it's got a wooden lid, it's quite cool. A Belle Lactobionic Acid. Sounds dangerous. A Digital Thermometer. Some concealer, some unrefined shea shea butter. Is that one pack? I think it's one pack. An eyeliner and a couple of sweets. A face mask with a 90p price sticker on it. And some luxury wax melts, like candle things. It says hearts on it, but they're actually stars. So that's for $14.99. I'd say that's pretty good. They're all worth, that's worth a lot more than $14.99. So hopefully they're happy. Um, but yeah, good thing for me is that the beauty crate that we've got is going down. Hopefully I'll sell some more this week. Be good to get a couple shifted on Depop as well. Um, but we shall see. Um, you can't advertise that sort of thing. Um, so it's just organic searches only. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's everything that's going out. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'll do two of these a week. Um, so yeah, there'll be another one out uh, Friday, Saturday. Um, if you've got any questions, just drop a comment um, in the comments box or you can find us on Instagram where we're FNS resellers over there too. Uh, we're always here to help if we can. So just give us a shout or come and say hi. Uh, but I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.